here's the way we usually hear it. The great granddaddy of amusement parks is New York's Coney Island, opening in 1884, boasting America's first roller coaster. Its other signature ride is that revolving fun fest inspired by horse racing, the carousel. By the 1920s, over 1,500 amusement parks have sprouted up in the United States. And by then, roller coasters are so terrifying that one has a nurse on duty to revive any rider that faints. But other than that, the attractions are always good, clean, family fun. Then, in 1955, Walt Disney reinvents the industry with Disneyland, the world's first theme park an amusement park with rides that all follow a central concept. The myths in that recap stretch longer than the line at the Matterhorn. Starting with the idea that Coney Island's roller coaster, called the Switchback Railway, is America's first. It is the first patented model in the nation, but a Pennsylvania rail line converted to a thrill ride in the 1870s predates it by a decade. It originally opened in 1827 as a means to haul coal that uh, largely relied on gravity to uh, send uh, coal trains through the mountains. By the 1870s, technology advanced to the point where it was no longer needed to transport coal, and some enterprising people decided, well, people would probably like riding this thing, and it was turned into a tourist attraction. And in fact, at its peak, it was the second most popular tourist attraction in the United States behind Niagara Falls. The Mock Chunk Railway, named for the town where it hauled its coal, attracts 35,000 eager riders every year, including Thomas Edison, Charles Dickens, and Ulysses S. Grant. People would go up to the top of the mountain, get in a coal car, and for the next five miles, they were going down on the ride of their lifetime. In the flattest areas, the cars poke along at six miles per hour. But on a straightaway called the home stretch, they thunder down the mountain at 65, almost as fast as the speediest wooden roller coasters of today. The Mock Chunk Railway is a crowd pleaser until 1933, when the depression puts the ride out of business.